hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video we're gonna show you how to utilize a raster calculator for advanced spatial analysis using RGIS so now let's get started so uh, we're going to take a look at using the map algebra tools in the raster calculator in RGIS which allows us to subset subset the rasters to basically uh, from a selection like a queries to create a new rasters so here in the table of content section you can able to visualize we have four different uh, layers here so first layer it is our SRTM dem data and second one is our uh, the aspect aspect uh, layer here and the third one is our slope layer and the fourth one is our land use land cover data so we're gonna basically we're gonna subset our raster data using uh, the raster calculator in RGIS so we're gonna navigate to this option called our toolbox which is available here so we're gonna click here so in that we're gonna navigate to the to the tool called spatial analysis tool in that we're gonna navigate to the specific tool called map algebra we're gonna click this and here the our raster calculator tool we're gonna click this tool here so this is our raster calculator tool so on the left side you can able to observe we have the layer layers and variables and on the right, you can able to, able to observe the conditions and math operations and trigonometry operations are available in here. So now let us uh, start subsetting our raster layer using our raster calculator. So for that, we can specifically use our slope layer here. Let me show you here. This is our slope layer. You can able to visualize it. So here you can able to view the slope the slope value for the specific study regions varying from uh, 1.66 to 70.5 in degrees so now uh, let's uh, let's start a uh, subsetting our slope raster by extracting the slope values uh, lesser than 30 degrees so let's do that we're going to navigate to our raster calculator here so to do that we're going to click our slope raster here and next we're going to use our uh, less than operator that is this particular one here and we're going to mention 30 and now choose your output file location so now here i have mentioned as slope less than 30 degrees now click save and now make sure that you add your file extension here dot tiff so once you did that we're going to click this option called ok so basically what it does is uh, it's going to run uh, the entire slope raster and find all the areas where the slope is less than 30 degrees so now we have our result here so here it gives us uh, back uh, kind of zero and one uh, binary uh, response back here you can able to see that so here the zero means it's not less than 30 degrees and the one means it is uh, less than 30 degrees so here when you uh, zoom in uh, we can see that uh, the most places are less than uh, 30 degrees and now let us run our raster calculator once more to find the slope area that is less than seven so for that we're going to click this tool here so here you can able to view that i have uh, used our slope raster and made it less than seven and uh, selected my output file location here so now we're going to find the areas where the slope uh, degree slope and degree less than seven so we're going to click ok and now let us check, uh, check this out here so now we have our result here so we can able to view here so now to view the areas where the slope uh, in degree less than seven so we're gonna make sure that we're gonna give a no color to the specific binary value of zero so now let me add uh, no color to it and let me turn this the slope raster here so now here you can able to visualize these are the areas where the slope in degree less than seven there's uh, the slope area less than seven degrees all the places that gets uh, uh, in uh, green color you can able to view here all the play slope area slope areas are less than seven degrees so the entire area that is uh, you can able to visualize in green it is of uh, flat surfaces so now we have basically found uh, the slope areas for the degree uh, less than uh, seven degrees so now uh, we're gonna move on to the next uh, layer here let me uh, select the specific raster that is our aspect raster so uh, let's say uh, i also want to find all the spots where the aspect is facing uh, kind of uh, to the south so it has a good solar exposure so for that we're going to use a raster calculator let me turn off this layer here let me select our, our raster calculator here so now let's select our aspect raster here so once you did that 
we're gonna say the aspect raster that is greater than 112 uh, because it starts to the starts to uh, put it in the put it from the southeast so now let me enter the aspect that is uh, greater than uh, 112 here we're gonna click here 112 and uh, less than 247 before uh, it leaves the southwest so here we're gonna mention uh, let me add a space to it and uh, we're gonna use uh, ansible here and here we're gonna mention the aspect uh, less than let me remove this less than 247 now let me enter the value here 247 so here so the aspect is basically between 112 and 247 so you can able to see here now choose your output file location so now here I have mentioned as an aspect uh, southwest we're gonna save here make sure that you give a file extension of dot diff so now I have mentioned as aspect southwest dot diff and now click OK so now here we have a result but uh, have, I think I made some mistake here so now let me check this out here go to the result section here let me uh, click this once again here so so here I forgot to uh, group them here so now we have to add a parenthesis around this uh, aspect to 247 here and also for here let me add that so now here you can able to visualize if I've added a parenthesis to it around it so now I'm gonna save as aspect southwest dot diff so once you did that we're gonna click OK so now here you can able to visualize we have our result so you can able to view our aspect southwest raster here so this specific caster which uh, it gave me all the spots that faces to the southwest uh, here which is uh, great so next uh, suppose we want to find the areas for the slope uh, the slope areas that is less than 7 degrees as well as an aspect raster that is facing towards southwest so we're gonna run the both the condition in uh, using our raster calculator so for that we're gonna navigate to our raster calculator here so now uh, maybe I want to know where the slope uh, is less than 7 degrees and uh, and the aspect uh, areas faces uh, the southwest uh, direction so for that we're gonna use our raster calculator so we can uh, do it by selecting our uh, aspect southwest raster here let me double click this and we're gonna select the slope that is less than 7 degrees so in between we're gonna apply our AND operator here so we're gonna click this AND operator so now let us uh, choose our output file location so here I have entered as slope less than 7 degrees and the southwest uh, areas so we're gonna basically identify the areas with the slope less than 7 degrees as well as the aspect raster of southwest directions so we're gonna click save and now we're gonna click OK so now here we have our result so the slope less than 7 degrees and the aspect uh, raster of southwest uh, directions so this particular layer represents the slope areas that is less than 7 degrees as well as the aspect raster of southwest directions that is the purple color indicates the areas that is a slope less than 7 degrees and the aspect raster of southwest directions so you can able to view here let me zoom into this particular study region here the purple areas indicates the slope less than 7 degrees and aspect raster of southwest direction so basically suppose if you want to construct a house in this area so you, if you want to identify the area that is a flat surfaces so uh, using the specific analysis you can identify all the the areas with the flat surfaces here with the uh, with the solar exposure is in particular direction that is in southwest direction And now uh, it finishes and uh, gives me only the spots where the two uh, where those the two condition coincides that is the slope uh, less than 7 degrees and the southwest areas so now let's make our zero spot uh, no color let me turn off for the rasters here so now uh, we have only the spots where the aspect faces to the southwest and and it is relatively flat it is uh, less than 7 degrees so now we are basically visualizing an area that is uh, the weather slope area less than 7 degree 
with the aster uh, with the aspect raster facing in the southwest directions so in this video uh, we have utilized our ra using a raster calculator for identifying the areas uh, slope areas that is less than 7 degrees and and uh, using our aspect raster to find the the southwest direction using our uh, raster calculator in rgis so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like